Good morning and welcome to our reflection for Tuesday the 15th of December. Yesterday, Alan Stanley invited us to reflect on Jesus' authority and whether we give authority to him or to ourselves. Today's passage occurs directly after yesterday's and, and continues Jesus' challenging of the priests and the elders um, and following on from their challenge of him. But it also invites us to reflect on whether our words or our actions are more important. Now, we all know people, don't we, whether in public life or in personal lives, who say one thing but do another. Maybe a politician who tells us to do one thing but then gets caught doing the exact opposite. Or perhaps a friend who will say all the right things but then act in ways that we find hurtful. We've all been there. It's easy to read in this passage and think of other people. But that would be doing the passage a misservice. Instead, we're invited to put ourselves in the story and ask ourselves, which of the two sons are we most like? So the passage. And reflect as I read it. Honestly, which of these two sons are you most like? Jesus said to the priests and the elders, What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not, but later changed his mind and went. The father went to the second and said the same, and he answered, I go, sir, but he didn't go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They answered, the first. Jesus said to them, truly, I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him. And even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. Now, yesterday, in the previous exchange, we heard... Jesus responding to the priest's challenge of where his authority lay by Jesus asking them where they thought John the Baptist's authority lay. They refused to answer because, well, the people saw John as a prophet, but the priests themselves had rejected him. So they were stuck for an answer. If they say yes, John had authority from God, then Jesus asked them, why didn't they believe him? If they say his authority wasn't from God, then the people will get angry with them. So they refuse to answer. Jesus then goes on to press his advantage and in this parable implicitly challenges the priest's authority. The implication is that the priests are like the son who says the right things, but does the wrong things. Whereas the tax collectors and prostitutes may look like the wrong people, but they're the ones who follow John. And they're the ones that are following Jesus. This then asks two questions of us. Firstly, it asks whether authority comes from what people say or what they do? Well, the obvious answer is that it's what we do that gives us authority. Well, that's fine. Easy answer. But I once knew a vicar who, when challenged on whether people should take his course of action or not, would retort, we do it my way because I'm the vicar. All of us who hold authority should be challenged by this parable 
to back up our fine words with actions that cohere with our words and perhaps add a smidgen of humility as well. It's easy to say that we know that authority comes from what we do. It's not quite so easy to do what we say we should do. Secondly, it challenges all of us to recognise that we so often fail to live up to our own standards, challenging us all to not look down on those who fail, but instead to recognise in the face of others' failure, our own face too. To live more graciously, more generously, and more in tune with what we say we should be. Let us pray. Loving Father, teach us to listen more than we speak, to act better than we say, and to do good to all in grace and mercy. Amen.